Welcome to DowerChin.com. Today we're going to talk about improving performance of Photoshop on the Surface Book. Uh, the Surface Book is a unique uh, device in the sense that if you have the more expensive version with the dedicated GPU, you have two uh, graphics processors. You have the Intel and then you have the NVIDIA that's built into the base. So if you're not familiar with the problems that Photoshop is having currently with uh, performance, if you launch Photoshop, I have 2015 over here, the latest version of Photoshop CC for the Creative Cloud, and you create a new document. Well, all right, first off, uh, if you go to the edit and into the performance settings here, preferences, performance, you'll see that when it comes up, that in this little corner here, the dedicated uh, graphics option here for the graphics processor settings is set to the GeForce GPU that's on the keyboard when it's, when it's attached. I have it reversed right now. And so with it on, uh, that, that's kind of an important feature in Photoshop because with it, you have the ability to do pinch zooms, rotations of the canvas. And so if I create a new document with the Photoshop default 7x5, 300, 300 DPI or 300 pixels per inch, and I choose something like a nice red color here or like a reddish color. And I choose a standard paintbrush to start drawing. One thing you'll notice right away is, as I spit on the screen, you'll notice this weird little lag. It's like, it's like, a, like, a, like a half a second lag. It just, ha it just has this weird lag that's just noticeably annoying. And, and uh, from what I found, it's really, it's, the dedicated GPU. So this is very interesting. So if I, if I were to close this down, quit it out, and I'm gonna basically take it and I'm gonna eject the keyboard from here. And take it off. I'm just gonna set this aside like here. I wanna hold it in my hands here. I'm going to basically run Photoshop again. And so once it's finished running, we'll take a look and now we'll take a look at the preferences or the performance. And you'll see that the, the, the graphics processor is now detected as the Intel HD Graphics 520 here. And so with that, if I do the same exact thing, same default document, 7 by 5, 300 pixels per inch, and I do the same test again, I do not have that lag at all. It performs quite well. So it doesn't have that same problem. So it strictly is the dedicated GPU. So what do you do? Well, let's put, let's put this back in and we'll talk about the fix for how to, how to fix this little annoying problem. Let me, let me put my little, little puck things back behind here so I can prop this up properly. Okay, so I'm gonna close out of this. First thing you're gonna do in order to fix this is you're going to have to get the you're going to have to go to the geforce.com website and get the geforce experience. All right, download the program and and once you install it, you can right click on the screen here and go to in, Nvidia control panel. In here there's a setting here for manage 3D settings. If you go to that option, uh, there these you can actually specify what to do with specific programs uh, in the program settings here. I have here under Adobe Photoshop, I am going to change this. Notice right down here, it's going to use the global setting, which is auto detecting the, the NVIDIA GPU. I'm going to actually force it and say, use the integrated graphics. I'll apply that. And once we, once we apply that, we can close it. And now what we can do is we can then go to, um, we can go back to Photoshop here. And if you go to the, the, the edit, you know, the preferences, and the performance, you'll see now that with that setting there, uh, the GeForce Experience program will now, then when Photoshop runs, it'll force it into the Intel HD Graphics 520. And the re you know, you want this on. The reason why is if you, you know, the one option you could do is you can just turn it off. But what it, what it affords you is to be able to do this, pinch zoom. So if I were to draw here, so you notice that now things are working nice and smooth. I can pinch zoom, I can rotate. Oh, sorry, can I rotate? Oh, come on. 
Uh, I guess I can't rotate, but I can at least I can zoom. I thought I could rotate. Oh, it's weird. Uh, well, at least I can pan zoom uh, with it. Because if you turn those options off, you lose all, you lose some of the, that capability. So if I ever do a performance and I to disable that, um, oh, I'll still here. But if I close the program out now and run the program again, come on. Sometimes that little menu is so hard to get. Sometimes. All right. Now with the settings, come on, wake up. All right, perform, and let's see, new defaults. I got the preferences, I got my performance, and now that's turned off. See, it's all grayed out. You you lose the ability to pinch zoom. That 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 that's all gone. So so it's one of those kind of things that you you want to have that and other other problems that are not other things aren't available when you have that turned off so i highly recommend not doing that so that's why installing the geforce experience and see now it's all weird let's close that down so that's why it's important to install the the geforce experience so you get the nvidia control panel and you can change the settings to make photoshop run a lot better so that's a, that's the fix that i found so far to make photoshop run better on the surface book that has the dedicated gpu once again you don't have this problem if you have the lower end uh, uh keyboard base that that, does, that doesn't have the dedicated gpu then you don't have to worry about it but for those that have the you know the i5 or the i7 that actually has the the gpu then you may you will want to do that or else photoshop is not going to perform very well so i hope you found this useful if any questions or any suggestions or other tweaks that I don't know about, you know, feel free to leave comments. Uh, thank you for watching.